Hello. So have you heard the news? Periscope is going away as of March 31st, 2021. So the end of this month when I'm recording this. And the thing that you need to do is complete these three steps so that your audience isn't lost and wondering where you are, what happened to you and what's going on. And that's what we're going to cover in this. And as a side effect of that, we're also gonna be helping your business. So, hey, it's a win-win situation. We like those here. Let's get the show started. So as you may or may not have heard, Periscope is shutting down as of March 31st, 2021. So when I'm recording this, it is the end of this com of this month, not this coming month, the month that I'm actually recording this in. And there are three things that you need to do to make sure that your audience isn't left confused, not able to find you, wondering what the heck happened. And this is also a way for your business to maybe refresh itself and also to just to take care of it, right? Because you wanna make sure that your message is getting out there to the right people and the right people are finding you. By doing these three steps, you're going to future-proof yourself for several situations. So let's start and get into this. Um, for those of you who maybe didn't catch the first show at the beginning of the month I did about this, where I went into a little bit more detail about where to get details on what's happening and what your options are and you know how to get paid if you were one of the lucky people who were getting paid from Periscope. Um, if you just go, where are we doing this? We're doing this here. Um, so if you go and, and click on the link here, uh, you will get a link that will take you to the previous show that I did so you can get caught up. I'll also make it an end card. So if you want to stay and catch this one and then go do that one, that's also an option for you. We got you covered. Relax, it's gonna be okay. All right, so just real quick. So Periscope has been around for a while. It was the thing for a very long time. And then it was not so much because other things came along and it's, it's, it's been kind of sitting around and Twitter's not been giving it a lot of love, except they are not completely walking away from it because you're still gonna be able to do your videos in Twitter. So we'll get into that in a minute. But the important thing here is that there's three things that you need to do to make sure that you're taking care of your audience and of course your business. because that's what we're here for, or most of us anyway. Um, so the first thing that you're gonna need to do, number un one, number uno, right? Numero uno, whatever, I shouldn't even try that. I tried, I really wanted to do foreign languages, it just didn't work. Um, first you need to decide where you're gonna stream next. Like what is your plan? Where are you gonna go next? Uh, the, and you've got tons of options out there, which is a good or bad thing, depending on who you are. Um, so just as an example, you can do it from Twitter and I'll talk about that in a minute, a little bit more. Um, you can do it, you can go to Twitch. Maybe it's time to go to Facebook. Maybe it's time to try YouTube. There's new things out there, right? Like Limish or TikTok, et cetera. So there, you've got a lot of options. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do here is decide where you're going, get set up there, right? Do some test runs and then start streaming there to start to build up your momentum and to get used to the new platform, work out all the little glitches, that type of thing. Um, in the same time, right, while in parallel while you're doing this, and it's only for a short time, right? We've only got a couple of weeks left. While you're starting to stream on your new platform, keep streaming on Periscope, right? Keep talking to your audience there and let them know where to find you, right? Tell them what's going on. They may not have heard. There's not that I'll, there's press about it. There's not a ton of press about it. So make sure, you know, you're talking to them and you're keeping, sorry, keeping them up to date and you're letting them know what your next steps are so that they know where to find you, right? This is the kind of thing that you need to do the repetition on because if you don't, people don't always hear it, right? You, you've got to catch them in that moment where, they're, they're, they're focused enough and you're saying the right things and it's connecting in their brain. And even so it needs to be reinforced a couple of times. So that's why it's really important. Start streaming in the new place, keep streaming on Periscope right now. Um, if you are using a tool like vMix, um, StreamYards, uh, Ecamm, depending on what, you know, OBS, um, and you are able, your system can handle um, multicasting, that might be a good thing to try for this window. I'm not saying you have to do it forever, but this is a really good example of why that is sometimes a handy thing to do. So you, by multicasting, what I mean is you could stream once, do your show, but you could stream it to Periscope and the new location at the same time. That's what I do here. So when I'm streaming this show live, it's going live to YouTube and Facebook. So it's just something to think about. If you can't, if you're not sure of how to do it, that's fine, don't stress over it. Um, I mean, you can always reach out if you want help. I can certainly help you in the next couple of weeks if you want that kind of help. Um, but the important thing is to just make sure that you're getting the message out there. Keep doing your show. It doesn't have to be the exact same show, but keep talking to your folks on Periscope while you're starting to get some momentum in whatever new platform you're picking. 
whichever one. Um, so I do want to get back to the Twitter thing for a second here. Twitter owns Periscope. Okay, so that's that's been true from the beginning. Um, you can continue to stream, okay, but not to Periscope. So you're not going to be able to use the Periscope app. You're not going to be able to RTMP there and, and use the whatever they called their studio version there. Um, that was in the last show. Um, you're not going to be able to do that. But what you can do is you can switch yourself over to use the Twitter tools. So you can, you know, stream from the phone, right? You can pick up your phone, open up Twitter and stream that way. Or you can go ahead and you can use the Twitter uh, media studio producer, long name. Um, if you're going to do it from tools like, you know, I'm like I use vMix. So if you're set up to do that kind of thing, you can just switch over and do that. Um, you do have to go through the process of setting up and getting your stream key and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it's not that different if you've been doing that on the, the Periscope side. The one caveat there is the fact that discoverability is going to be a little bit harder there because unlike on Periscope where you go to periscope.tv and you've got all videos in front of you, um, that's not Twitter's thing, right? And I'm surprised that with all this happening, they haven't built a page. Hopefully they are. It would probably help if we all kept sending them emails going, why don't we have a page? Uh, but, you know, just be aware of that as you're making this decision. But if you're very happy in that universe and you just want to do a parallel shift, that is totally an option. You can go do that. Um, if you look in the description in on YouTube and on Facebook, I've got the links that will take you there that, that walks you through the whole process. It's really not a big deal. Um, but this might be a time to freshen things up. It might be a time to reach out to something else. Try something maybe that you've been thinking about. So maybe you've wanted to give Twitch a chance. So you want to go over and check that out. Or maybe you haven't done Facebook or YouTube and you're like, eh, maybe it's time. Um, the process of deciding what's best for you. So, okay, let, let, let's just clear this up, right? Because people are like, well, where, where should I be? It depends. It depends on you, your content, where your audience is. So you're going to have to do a little research. You're going to want to do that, which is why you need to do this now. Um, ask your audience. Ask your audience where else they are. You're, you're, if you've got an active audience on Periscope, ask them where else they are when they're not on Periscope. That'll give you your answer most of the time. Um, but, you know, do a little and maybe do a little experimentation, right? Maybe try a couple of different things. Um, but hurry up because the clock is ticking and you want to make sure that you've got some time to tell your audience what you've decided and we're going to go and, you know, get everybody shifted over. So this is not something you can wait on. You need to be doing this now. Um, so, yeah, so that that's basically where we're at here is as of the 31st, you will not be able to stream at all to Periscope. Your existing content is supposed to stick around. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, but for what that's worth, you're, there's some steps you're going to want to take. Um, in the meantime, if you do have any questions, if you have problems, if you want advice on this, um, feel free to reach out. I am at yourtechcoach.net. There's a contact form there. Let me know what your question is. Um, or if you just have a topic for a show you want me to cover, something you need some information on, something you're not sure about, go ahead and use that contact form and let me know because that's where the best shows come from. Um, and the only thing I ask is if you need a fast answer, please, please, please let me know that and let me know how to get back in touch with you because if not, all I can do is cover it in a show, which is fine, but I don't want you to stress. You know, if you were looking for a fast answer, I have to know where to find you. So that's that's the only caveat there. Okay, so let's keep going. So the next step is number two. You're going to want to, now that you've decided, you've got to do step one first. Decide where you're going to go. Then step two is tell everybody. Tell everyone where you're going. Starting with your Periscope profile. That is the best place right now to go and put your new information. So go there, update it. Say, hey, you know, bummer about Periscope, but not to worry. This is where you're going to find me. Put that information in there um, because at, because Periscope is going to keep the, the site up at least for a while. Um, that's be a great way for people who just come across maybe one of your Periscope videos to say, hey, I want more. if they want more of you, they can go and they can look at your profile and find out where you are now. So that's really critical. You absolutely it, it, to make, want to make sure that you get that into that profile to help the people who are on that platform find you wherever you go. Don't assume that because you're going from Periscope to, to Twitter, if that's the case, that that's going to be seamless. It's not. You're going to have to hold their hand and take them to the new place. Otherwise, they're probably not going to find you. So make sure you do that. Also, make sure you email your list, assuming you have one. Um, give them all the information, the 
you know, where you're going to, what's happening, where you're going, what you're going to be doing there, if anything's changing. Um, it's a good chance if you're looking to change your show day or time or anything, um, it's a good time to do that because you're already in transition. Um, but make sure you mail your list. Make sure you do it a couple of times, right, between here and the end of the month. And I would continue to do it a couple of times in the next two months after the shutdown because, again, you're not necessarily going to catch them the first time you email it out. So you've got to repetition is your friend here um the people who have heard it will not be offended by the repetition the people who missed it the first time will be grateful for it so you can't lose on that one social make sure you put the word out on your socials if you're not using social start using social but again let people know you know what's going on what you do if you're just getting into the social thing and where they can find you um, don't be shy about this. You know, obviously you're not going to go around, you know, shoving it down people's throat, but, you know, work it into the rest of your content. Don't make that the only content you put out. That's never a good idea, but make sure that you weave it into the content and that you're doing it on a regular basis. Cause again, early and often is key here, right? It takes multiple attempts before people actually hear the message, read the message, whatever the, the platform is. So that is number two. That is a biggie. Number three. Okay. So. This is good and bad news. All right, it's not bad news. It's just more painful news than I expected. So I told you in the previous one, which you can go and you can check out, um, that you can go, like what happened with Google Plus, if, for the folks who were around for that, um, you can download your information from Periscope. So I had some assumptions going into that. So I went through the process. You can ask for your information, which seems to be like, you know, the analytics um, from with this. They always had pretty good analytics. So you can download that and you can also download your videos because there's really no easy way to do that from Periscope, but they did give you an option to click on that you can download your videos. My expectation when I did that was that it was going to be something like Google Plus where they kind of bundled them up into zip, zip files and you would just download groups of them, however many would fit in however many zip files. Unfortunately, that is not the case. So there's a couple of caveats here. I want to, that seems to be the word for the day. Um, there's a couple of things I want to warn you about because I, it did not happen the way I expected it to. And, you know, being in software, I kind of anticipated how this would be done if I was the one planning it. Um, that's not how they did it. So first of all, you have to go to a specific page and that link is in the description. You have to request it. You have to request twice, okay, for each channel. So if you have multiple channels, you're going to do it for each channel. Um, one gets you just the data, the analytics, that kind of stuff. The other one is requesting the, the videos. Okay. So it said, you know, it goes through it. It says, okay, we got your request. It's going to take some time, you know, and then it, you'll be able to download it, which is fine, except they never bother to tell you that it's ready. You have to keep going back proactively to see if it's done. Not super user friendly, but okay. Nothing we can do about that. The other thing, and this is the thing that really blew my mind, to be honest, was when the videos are ready, they're not bundled up into zip files. So you just click on a couple of them. Oh no, you have to go and click on every single one to download it. That took a while. <laughs> okay. So I had two different channels, um, on Periscope. I've done one. I'm going to start the other one tonight. Um, I'm going to, cause I want to do some screen caps as I do it so that I can just kind of show you folks. But, um, I, I won't kid you that that was an evening of, you know, sitting there watching TV and, you know, do it cause you can only download in a browser so many files at a time. So again, don't wait for this. Go ahead, do it now because it takes time to get the request in. It's been, it took me a couple of days before it was there. And then, because I kept expecting an email, silly me, I expected some kind of notification. So the first time I did it, I went a couple of times. It wasn't ready. Then I got distracted and I'm like, oh, you know, I haven't heard from them. Let me go and check it. I had to start over because they're only making that content available for three days. That's why I went with three for the show today, because it seemed to be a, an, an important number for this process. So if you miss that three day window to download the stuff, or if it takes you more than three days to download all of your stuff, you got to start over. Not helpful. But if you, you do want to do this, because as I mentioned in the other show, it's better to have your content and not need it than to need it and not have it. And while Periscope, well, Twitter is saying that they're going to keep this alive so that the archive of your videos will be available. I think we both know that that's not going to last forever, right? At some point, 
somebody's going to say this is not financially viable the servers are old it's taking to you know they're going to come up with reasons and they're going to shut it down who knows if they're going to make this available this uh this process available again to download the stuff so better to be prepared go get your stuff hard drives are cheap go get, pick yourself up a hard drive at amazon or best buy or wherever it is you like to buy this stuff and bring this stuff down load it throw it on there and shove it in a closet just so you've got it also put it on the cloud because hard drives fail um but you want to do this now because it is going to take some time um when i say it took me an evening that was I want to say that by the time I was done with, you know, interruptions from the dog and all that, it was probably four or five hours of clicking because again, I, you know, I click a couple, I'd have to wait for the browser to do its thing and then click a couple more. I'm sure I double downloaded some things because I forgot where I was in the list. So that's, that was one of the big things I wanted to make sure I let you folks know is yes, they're making the data available, which is good. You know, yes it's a fairly easy process you just have to log in and click on a couple of things but it's up to you to keep an eye on the page yeah gotta keep going back to see if it's there um and it's a very very manual process to bring it down so be aware of that uh let's see was there anything else i wanted to say um no i think that's got it so this is going to be you know short and to the point i just wanted to make sure that you had this information that you were aware of the steps that you need to take so just to recap um, you got to decide where you're going to go, right? And you're going to want to get yourself set up. You're going to want to get yourself, you want to start streaming wherever it is you're going. One place, multiple places, whatever it is you decide, but you need to figure that out. This is also a great time to pivot. Hey, if you've been thinking about TikTok, maybe it's time to go try that. You know, if you want to do Instagram TV, maybe it's time to try that. Um, or maybe it's time to go to YouTube and Facebook and those kinds of things. Whatever is going to be right for you and your audience, that's where you need to go, but you need to start now. While you're doing that, keep going on to Periscope and let people know what's going on. Be transparent about it. Tell them what's going on, share it with them, ask for their opinions, but make sure you're doing that and make sure that you're spreading the word about where it is that you're gonna go so that they know. Make sure you tell your email list, make sure you um, put it out on your social media, um, and then make sure you go through the process of getting your data down from Periscope so that you've got it. That's the encapsulated version. Like I said, um, I did a longer show on this, so you're more than welcome to check that out. That will be the end card at the end of this, and it will take you right there if you want to get caught up on that. All right? Okay, folks, like I said before, if you have any questions, if you run into problems, I'm more than happy to, to help you out if I possibly can. I'll certainly give it my best try. Just go to yourtechcoach.net, fill out that contact form, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. All right? Okay, everybody, you know, these things are going to happen. That's why I say always make sure you've got a one page website out there because it's the only thing that you have complete control of because platforms come and go and here we are again. So go do this, um, get yourself ready, make it an opportunity for yourself. And then, oh, Stacy, hello, Stacy. <laughs> um, make it an opportunity, right? It, it's maybe it's time to try something different. Maybe it's try, time to you know, expand a little bit, um, but just make sure that you do it now because you don't want April to come. You're not being able to reach your audience on Periscope and losing all that momentum that you have built up over all this time. So go do this thing. You're, it's not a big hassle, um, but you do need to make a couple of quick decisions and then start getting the word out. All right. Thank you all so much. I hope you're having a good one. I'm here every Thursday at 8 p.m. I hope to see you next week. Bye. Thank you.